This is your boy Earthquake. Ricky, skinny ass, smiley. <laughs> Over 30 years of comedy. Been robbing these people, Ricky. <laughs> robbing. I remember when you started. I took you to the first strip club, Magic City. You <laughs> fell asleep sure without telling the girl, stop dancing. <laughs> when he woke up, he oh. owed $800. <laughs> That's how we broke up. Congratulations, man. One of the best. You're my friend. So You're my dope. brother. And I'm glad we share as peers slinging these jokes. I love you, man. Wow. Earthquake. Yeah, maybe right. Come on, that dog. Dope. I got goosebumps. So that was so sweet. Yeah. That was, that was good, Nathaniel. <laughs> that, this, that former roommate, Brett, Maria. Former roommate. Was that a true story? Wow. Yeah. The strip club story? Was, said, and you I forgot was, to tell the girl to stop dancing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, oh. I, I was into the church back then. <laughs> and he took me to the strip club and I was being there on the VIP on the couch sleep. <laughs> and wake you up ready. And wake up and some chick standing over you twerking. <laughs> See, you owe the girl $800. And she sure won't leave. She will twerk till. <laughs> you, ain't know, you ain't know that meter, that meter be running, that boy. That meter be running. <laughs> <laughs> Seven minutes after the hour, Gary has the tea and the clue today bought to you by... U.S. Department of Health, man. Vaccines are highly effective in preventing hospitalizations and deaths, even from the Delta variant. If you've got questions about COVID vaccines, talk to a doctor because our kids are irreplaceable. We can do this all together. Find vaccines near you at vaccines.com. I'm sorry, vaccines.gov. Get that right. What up there, Gary? Good morning, Rock T. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you is... Friday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Kanye West is speaking out. He's saying they are conspiring against his beautiful wife, Kim Kardashian. Now, he said at the end of the day, he said, I ain't got no paperwork yet. He said, but I'm going to come on and talk about how he want to save his family, and he want to keep his family together, even though they're filing for divorce. He said almost in that same breath, he said he was talking about like a conspiracy theory, suggesting that there's plants in place around Kim and possibly other celebs that try to manipulate what they're doing. He said his reasoning for believing this is because he says that artists and celebrities are pretty much all narcissists and no regular person will want to hang out with that person and listen to them talk about themselves for hours and hours. He said those who do, he's suspicious of them. He said he's very suspicious of those type of people. Then he said one person he suggested is that he had some concerns about was a lawyer who's apparently y'all been keeping Kim in her ongoing effort to pass the bar and get her license to practice law. He said she has failed the exam twice for sure, oh. having tried a third time this past oh. summer. Now he said according to um, he, according to him, he said he was on the phone getting pitches for Saturday Night Live skits while Kim was in a session with this lawyer. He said the lawyer got on the phone and started making bad suggestions and he was like, man, this dude's an idiot. He said, they got an idiot training my wife, honey. She's going to fail the bar the third time, y'all. He said, and then he went on to suggest that perhaps this isn't just half stance that Kim, that perhaps Kim continue to fail the bar is by design for nefarious purpose. So he said, they trying to, they, 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 they doing this scam. And I could imagine, how are you going to be a lawyer and you don't even go to law school, but somebody just tell you how to be a, a lawyer on the telephone? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of, yeah, you got to have yeah. some experience. You got to go through the classes and go through the motions and know right. what it's like to win or lose or, you know, be going up against. Like, I don't and get And sit this. up in the courtroom and get some uh, courtroom experience. I bet if Glennon Three uh, taught us, she'll pass. But that's one of the best <laughs> law professors ever. There and people go. feel that because her daddy was a lawyer that she had, she's a lawyer by um, nature or whatever, but that's mm -mm. not so. You, you got to pass that bar. Yeah, and it just won't happen. Like a lot this, of so. people don't pass it the first time around. The first yeah. Time around. Yeah, that's, you, that's, that's common. That's not that unusual. If you got ADHD, yeah. you better take that Adderall and sit in there and get ready because that, that thing lasts for like two days all day for two days. Man, my lord. Yeah, you, you have a better chance of Pledge and Q. <laughs> 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 I, I couldn't pass a fifth grade man. Yeah, bro, I mean, the now. California Achievement <laughs> Test, the ACT. I pass All right, then. Well, moving on. In other celebrity news, we say we're not going to talk about it, but we got to. Will Smith, y'all, he's talking again. He said his mama called him having sex as a teenager. Now, he recalled when his mama um, called him, honey, having sex with his girlfriend, Melanie Parker, when he was in high school. He put that in his memoir, Real Will. He said, honey, the light switch came on, and then thousands of times before, he said his mama, her eyes just landed on him and his girlfriend.
girlfriend. He said he was shocked by it, honey. He said, but it was he was thrown in reckless lovemaking. He said, as a teenager, outside of physical injury, you cannot feel worse than having your mother catch you and your girlfriend, honey, on the kitchen floor. He said, I'm still not exactly sure where I did or what I did that night. He said, but honey, she caught us. And it was a sad oh, wow. thing, and, and that's new in his book. So he's going to be in total everything in the book. Yeah, he really making people want to get his book. I guess that's what you got to do, Gary. Tell a little bit of the story. Make people go buy the book to hear the rest. So he telling us a bit of every little story that we want to hear and that people yeah. talking about. And then we got to go buy the book to hear the rest. He, he's smart now, Gary. I yeah, guess he, he is. is yeah. He is smart. And you know what, Gary? Mm -hmm. I'm, I, you know, He's done so many movies. He should just go ahead and do a movie about his life and just go on and just put your life in a movie, yeah. like a coming of age, and, and go through it. I wouldn't be surprised if that was coming. Life? Independence wasn't about his life? The what? what? The Independence, that movie no, Independence. Man. No, That was a what? complete fiction. That was a oh, science fiction. Yeah. But, but that, would, that would be good, uh, considering all the stuff that him and Jada went through, just a side story, you know, outside of him uh, acting, but all of the personal stuff with the ex-girlfriend and the son that they have. And uh, Willow and Jaden mm -hmm. and stuff, you know, uh, and how he's navigating to where he is now. Uh, so I yeah. don't know. Well, we gonna. But see people don't do will. stuff like that until somebody die. Exactly, a memoir yes, anyway. So yeah, yeah but maybe he feels yeah. something. All right, the Kahlua today is one of my favorite. The Kahlua today is beef eater on the high end. You say beef eater, and on the low end, you say beautiful natural brown. That's your Kahlua for today. All right, y'all give it up for Gary with the tea. What oh, oh, All right, y'all, uh, allow me to wish happy Founders Day to Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, founded November the 12th, 1922, on the campus of Butler University in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana, by seven young educators. Today is their 99th anniversary, so make sure uh, you call in for the wake-up calls. K, White, all y'alls. Sigma Gamma Rho, y'all hit us up. All right? Sigma Gamma Rho, call us up right now. 866-9-RICKY. 866-9-RICKY. Wake-up calls coming up next.